How's it going, guys? <clears throat> we are back to Iron Blade. Uh, let me turn down this music real quick. Sorry if you guys hear any background noise. I'm just doing laundry and I got my fan in the background, airing out my room and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we did a lot of grinding. As you can tell, most of our resources are literally just completely gone. <laughs> so let me go to the inventory here. You can check out the hero. As you can tell. Our level has increased significantly. Literally all our gear is just completely maxed out. I mean, I still got some extra stuff from doing fortress attacks and stuff like that. Like I always say, sorry, I still got the sniffles. Allergies are still kicking my butt. Uh, as you can see, this sh new shield that we have, I did over 20 raid runs trying to get this shield, and it would just not come up. I do a regular chest, and what's the first item that comes up? That shield. <laughs> so that was really annoying. So let's actually level up the shield. Ugh. Uh, normally, I would evolve most of my stuff. Whoops. But it has a lot of resources that I need to grind for and stuff like that. And usually when you do another level, the chances of getting that is just gets slimmer and slimmer. And you tend to get more repeat junk like this. Which is choice option whether or not you decide to either keep it to use it to level up your, uh, your gear. Or just to sell for extra cash. I still have these bonuses. I still don't know what they do. So I haven't really bothered using them. But yeah, we got to, uh, does it tell you on here? Oh, there it does. We got to level 15 on here, so. Yeah, or excuse me, level 16. Tells you right on the top there. And that uh, trophy looking uh, thing where it says 255, that's the power level that I have in my fortress over here, which is like PvP, which you can just do raid random people and stuff. And if you go over to leaderboards, and that shows you each person's power level and stuff like that, and you go to find me, oh wow, I actually dropped down. I was 35th in power level, and I'm 39th. Huh. But yeah, so. And it costs like 25,000 just to upgrade to your, to your next level, which is insane. Uh, I'll take those. Take more power. Thank you. Let's see here. An alliance is a new thing. I haven't checked that out yet. Um, Tower Trials. I'll show you guys this. Oh, they changed that. Well, this is definitely something new. Whoa, they definitely changed this. They did a previous update, so they changed a lot of things. But as you can see, there's all together, there's 50 levels. And it goes up to 40 thousand power level which is insane then you have legacy tower oh no excuse me this is the one i'm thinking of legacy tower legacy tower is when it goes up to forty thousand power level uh i'm not sure what tower trials is then and then you have daily dungeons which you can gather resources and stuff like that and uh i think tower trials is just the uh bosses i think you have, like, random bosses you can fight and stuff. Uh, let's see, our free chest is ready. Let's reveal all this. Okay, garbage. More power stuff. Another raid tickets. Alright, let's take all that. And, uh... What I did is I went through each each some of the campaigns, because once you beat the easy difficulty, like which is regular, you can move on to hard, extreme, and then brutal. But you have to do, and what I posted in my last one, the golden skulls. It says like the thirty out of sixty, is based on your loot. So you get about usually about one minute to clear out three or four levels of enemies, and if you can get that within that three skulls, the chances down here where it says potential rewards. Is the chance that you actually have of getting with whatever amount of skulls you have. So, for instance, say you want to get one skull, 
you know, you're bound to maybe get like some uh, iron and some crappy gear. But if you manage to get three skulls, I don't know why it does that, you can get some of this legendary stuff down here, which is the purple stuff. So, you know, you want to kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, uh, run through it as quickly as possible. But as you can see with Extreme and then Brutal, you're, the chances of getting potential loot, it gets better and better. But the recommended stat power also increases too. So, and I tried doing just level one on Extreme. And I got to the very last level and then lost. And they immediately start you off with gargoyles. So that was not fun. Hard difficulty is not too bad. You know, I've been running around a hard difficulty and stuff like that. But at least, like you can see here, it's the minimum is 1100 on hard difficulty. But you switch over to regular, it's 440. So there's a huge significant difference in the power levels. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get to this Victor guy here. As you can see, the recommended stats is 750, but it doesn't look like you're going to get very much good loot out of it. So, And the challenge rating is moderate. So you have easy, moderate, and extreme. Easy is usually like 500 and below, and then it's like moderate is usually like 750 to maybe like 1,000. And then... And then, like, extreme, it basically is, like, a thousand and up. So. <laughs> I gotta always say I apologize for the sniffling. I try not to do it as best as possible, but... Oh, and also, uh... We upgraded our bow from a fire bow to a lightning bow, so instead of setting people on fire and then taking damage over time, we can actually stun them. And like I always say, I hope you guys' is, you know, week is going good. I hope your Thursday is going good. Uh, ah, mess that up. Get out of here. And just a reminder, you know, this weekend is Mother's Day's weekend on Sunday, so don't forget. <laughs> you don't want to get in trouble for that. <laughs> Yeah, red and nothing. Get that leather. Not who I wanted, but as you can see, stunlock is really annoying, especially when you try and get those three skulls, and all they do is literally just stunlock you every single time. Yeah, we didn't get the three skulls, but we got the two. He stops being a little turd about this and just dies. Bunch of crap. But as you can see, literally all my gear is completely maxed out, so I have to farm for resources and stuff like that. <laughs> Damn, allergies are just like kicking my butt. <laughs> Like, I want to sneeze, but I don't want to sneeze in the video. <laughs> yeah, that's all I do. I just set up for, like, grinding. I just set up auto-fight. <laughs> we'll I just set up a... 
auto fight when I'm grinding and stuff like that, and then just use the specialty moves. Using the bow to interrupt those heavy guys is actually really nice. Ah! Wasting my damn special for that. Get out of here. Dug a lot of crap for a dead man. <laughs> that works. That's not who I wanted to use that on, but yeah, I was hitting like that deadly strike. I was hitting like a twenty-three hundred on the uh, gargoyles in level 1 on extreme difficulty and it did nothing See ya. <sighs> You've nowhere left to run. You stand on the ground you will die on. You mean this consecrated ground? Yeah, I've still got two skulls. But yeah, imagine the Abaddon... Uh, gargoyle boss fight but take that scale of difficulty and put into regular gargoyles that's how extreme works <laughs> I even don't think I'll ever even try brutal until like, I reach like 20 or 30 thousand at least <laughs> so he's only at 18.6 which is kind of low most of my soldiers are a lot higher than that. But also you can see, if you look on the bottom portraits of the uh, fortress members, you can see a helmet and you can see a crown. The crown is the leader of the fortress, while the helmets are your mercenaries or your troops. So, depending, you know, if you have a higher or a lower level uh, leader, it will depend on, on the power of your fortress. But I have like a hundred thousand something leader on my main one so <laughs> I'm almost sitting out sitting at like two hundred thousand something power in my fortress so there's no one's gonna be able to touch me. Oh great. They just jump money right into that thing too. Screw you and your stunning turd. What was that? I'm sorry, you had an arrow in your mouth. I couldn't quite hear you. Glitchy camera angle much? <laughs> Get out of here. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I didn't mean to use that, but whatever. I could try to say some of the stuff with boss fights and stuff. Get out of here.
and you can you can faintly see the uh, white skull might appear like right there that shows you how many enemies you have to clear out in this level you can get out of here oh you're not even dead Great! Oh, taking you out. Man. As you, like I said, you can see someone who continuously protects with their shield, you can stun lock them with arrows. Did I get him? Did I get him? I think I got him. Woo! <laughs> Just keep him right in the corner. And if any of my Diablo fans recognize that name, Ball or Bale is from Diablo. Fifteen hundred is the recommended mount. Wow. <laughs> You're crazy. That's gonna be some serious grinding. And even then, I don't think you're gonna be able. To, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull that off. Fifteen hundred. I don't know. That's gonna be tricky, guys. Your final lead. Oh, nice. Ooh, one ninety four gloves. I'll take those. What is that? Basic divine essence. Something divine essence. A oh, bunch of divine essence. I'll take that. 1500 though? That's crazy. <laughs> I'll take those. I'll take an extra 20 power. We're going to need that too. Uh, Yeah, let's go into our inventory here. Yeah, those are way better. Yeah, we're only sitting at 11.35, so it's like we're going to need to do some serious grinding. But it's like you come over here, and it's like you go to upgrade, and you go to evolve. I still need, what is this, bronze? I still need heroic bone, and I need her heroic blood. So we're definitely going to have to do some grinding, though, for that just to, uh, you know, get that to the next level. <laughs> I think that's really about it. Oh, man, we got a chest here real quick. I don't care about that. Uh, I'll take that 903 sword if you want to give that to me. <laughs> you want to be generous. <laughs> Seven fifty. Uh, that's not bad. Hey, we got our bronze ingots we needed. So we'll come over to our fortress. 
pretty sure we can replace him. Uh, nope. Can't replace him. Was that a... Oh, that was a low-level one. Okay, never mind. So that was, what, a 617? So we'll come over here and replace you. So now we got a 750 now. But, yeah, so... And as you can tell, you can't lock each one at certain levels and stuff like that, so... But... Yeah, so, uh, each time people try to attack you, you slowly start building gold up on the side over here, up to a thousand gold. I'm assuming it goes higher than that, the higher level your fortress is and stuff, but no idea. But, uh, yeah, so, as you can see, I'm gonna have to grind again. Uh, getting to 1500, uh, that's gonna be tricky. But, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, like I said, I always apologize when you hear me sniffling in the video. It's just allergies and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys' Thursday is going good. I hope your weekend's going to get better. And I will either see you guys either on Sunday night or Monday afternoon. Somewhere around there. I'll post up another video. But either way, I'll catch you guys later.